finally guys the long awaited separated battle ratings for different modes is coming very very soon hello guys once again it's matt thank you all the members and patrons make sure to subscribe and let's take a look so yes gaijin didn't release a dev blog but they did release a roadmap update on to the game so uh this is very very interesting right so we are in planning to implement this change soon they are saying so all of this stuff that we are talking about it today are not going to come in the second major it's going to come before that which is very very good how it works is basically that uh, the brs are going to be different in certain aircraft depending if it's an aircraft battle ground battle or naval battle that's pretty much what it is it will have its own br the aircraft will have its own br depending if it's an aircraft ground or naval battle that's pretty much what it is there are some exceptions over here and stuff but in a general sense um, they are going to basically do this for the higher ranks or to so top tiers and stuff. But, um, you know, they are going to do more of these and carefully monitor how it works and later change more stuff. So uh, you can click on over here. We'll leave the links in the description. And here we have the actual BR changes. So, uh, for example, the all the F-16s over here are going to get in the ground battles a lower BR, for example. So the F-20, F-16As over here, the AJ and the nets they're all going to go to 11.7 that's the thing only in ground battles in all of the other modes it will remain the same 12.3 for the nets and all the others at 12.0 for the su-25 sm3 it will now have an 11.7 br for air realistic battles but for ground battles it is a 12.7 which is pretty good right the Harrier GR7 as well getting an increase to 12.0 in ground battles. And of course the AV-8B Plus as well, 12.7, 12.0. Uh, uh, for the Phantoms, a lower rank because of course they are worse uh, than the performance in the air. That That's pretty much what it is, right? While the aircraft that are worse in the performance in ground battles are going to get a bump down in BR. And all the aircraft that are worse in air battles will get a bump up in br for ground battle so that's pretty much what it is or something similar to that so yeah mig 23 ml as you see um as well the phantoms over here all getting a lower br the frs's frj's uh here is an interesting one the mig 27k will remain at 11.3 for ground battles but for air battles it will get a lower br which is pretty interesting to see all the mig 23 m's going to 10.3 guys so you can have a 10.3 lineup with a mig 23 m that's very interesting because these aircraft are not really good at doing air to ground right but they're amazing at air to air so they can defend very well these brs but uh air to ground they're very bad the mig 21 as well i mean it's pretty much the same um the tornado as well over here the tornado is kind of weird i gotta say i thought it was going to be a little bit different but yeah it's a very very low br for this but remember these two are the marine flieger and the wtd one which are the ones that don't have guided stuff if i'm not mistaken a7 Finally, the A7 K, E, and the D, as you see down there, all getting a, a lower BR in the air battles. Finally, finally, this is happening. These aircraft were really hard to fly in air battles, but really, really good at ground battles. So now they're going to be a little bit easier to fly in air battles. So very, very cool. Su-22, 10.3 as well. F5E, 11.0 because of the um, the Mavericks, right? So at air battles, it will remain at 11.7, but in ground battles, it will be 11.0. Canard getting a lower VR. Uh, the Su-22 UM-3K, the same goes for the F-5 over here. F-104 uh, is, of course, a very hefty decrease because of the, um, the air-to-ground capabilities. And then we have aircraft that, for the majority of the last ones, they got an increase in BR in ground battles because they are better at ground battles. So the Buccaneer, for example, 10.7, Jaguar GR-1, 10.7. AMX 11.0, this is a big increase, but it makes sense. SU-17M2, a lower a BR. F4F early, a lower BR. Jaguars, 10.7. So you can see the A10s getting a higher BR, which means, you know, a lot. It makes sense. It really, really does make sense. 
um, because they are amazing <laughs> at ground battles. And this allow I know it feels like a nerf, guys, but remember, this allows these aircraft to actually remain in a lower BR in air battles without being OP against tanks in ground battles. So at the end of the day, this is amazing. Yes, it's an increase, but it is amazing. Q5Ls, everything like that, a lower BR for the air battles, as you see, so it's pretty good. I mean, this is going to be a 1.3 difference between these two. So yeah, very, very cool. And then we wrap it up with the A4s, Alpha Jets all getting an increase to, you know, make sure that they are not OP against the ground battle. So, uh, ground, ground tank. So, this is amazing. It really, really is for me. I think it's one of the best additions that they ever did for War Thunder. I gotta say, I was waiting for this for a very long time. And, yeah, postponed news as well. So, uh, there are some other things here that they already talked about it. You can click and see the post here. But they're basically pushing up some of the stuff that was in the roadmap, like the, um, you know, research bonuses of new nations and other minor things. So, um, you know, you can check it out. And here we have the updated infographic. So, as you see, separated game mechanics, uh, separated better ratings over here. It's already going to be added as soon as possible. And then, you know, all of these um, are going to be added in the second major update. So uh, you can see over here all these things. But of course, some of the other stuff that was uh, planned to come here is going to be postponed a little bit. Like the public squads and mechanics for searching for squad base or interesting players, whatever, you know, the stuff of squads and of course, the um the research bonuses for new nations and other stuff that they already mentioned it before so this is pretty good guys we are moving up and yeah one of the best additions is coming to war thunder very very soon i see you guys on the next one make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments what do you think about the separate battle rating thing see you